Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're taking a look at the new Makeup Revolution Emily Edit Palette. First of all, I freaking love Emily Noel. She is someone who I find incredibly inspiring, motivating, and a figure to look up to in terms of if you want something, you're gonna make it happen and you're gonna get it done. She's a mom of two, I believe, and started her career in news. And another reason why I feel that explains her articulation and just how well she delivers information. We're gonna get into the details of the palette. We'll do our swatches. I'll also uh, demo an eye look I, I believe I did two days ago. It actually mimics an eyeshadow look that I did with the Moroccan Spice palette from Fenty Beauties. I think it's a really great alternative if you love those plum shades to make it happen. Enough of the intro stuff. If you want to take a look inside of the new Emily Edit palettes, what we think about them, how they perform, then please keep on watching. I already used these suckers but I wanted to put them in the box again just so you can see the full package layout. She collabed with Makeup Revolution and you have to watch her video about the behind the scenes. She also did a vlog video, I believe, about that process but the video announcement for her palette was so heartwarming and oh my god, I was brought to tears. Like, don't cry Emily Noel because I'm gonna cry. The way she spoke about her story and how she started and just her time on YouTube, how it led to this moment and how she's so proud of it and she finally collabed with the brand she believes in and the reason why she chose her colors and why she named them like is a really beautiful story. I highly recommend that you check it out just to get some insight on her palettes and why she chose the shades that she did. This palette is called The Needs and The Needs are a compilation of shades that are already in existing Makeup Revolution palettes. Emily had done, I think, extensive reviews on this brand and different products, and she thought to pull all her favorite shades into one palette, which is great for me because I do have some Makeup Revolution products. I mainly love their concealers and uh, their fast base foundation stick and I have a few of their highlighters and their blushes. I really didn't dive in deeply, so this is what she feels are essential in having in anyone's makeup palette that's a go-to all in one done and go. Let's talk about this fantastic mirror. She insisted on having a big mirror, edge to edge. I mean, this is great. If you can see you can see your whole face in it. This is from Makeup Revolution London. It is made in China, but it is still cruelty free. And this has a 12 month expiration shelf life. The six eyeshadow pans are 0.035 ounces or they're one gram each. And the four oval face powder pans are 0.063 ounces or 1.8 grams each. It's a plastic palette with a snap closure. It's very, it's secure when it closes, it's not magnetic. Again, edge to edge mirror. And here you have the bronzer, the blush, uh, shimmery highlighter shade, and a matte beige yellowish type of, that was a lot of words, powder shade. This was inspired by the fact that, yeah, she wanted to pull all her favorite Makeup Revolution uh, colors that she encountered in the different palettes to one palette but also to create something that one can use on the go. She had explained that when working in news that she had to get ready like one in the morning like it was insane but because of those non-conventional schedules she still felt the need to look presentable and she wanted to create a product that will deliver that seamless getting ready experience without the hassle. Now I already have my face makeup on as well as my eyebrows so I wanted to demo these powders on camera but first I will swatch for you. I was worried about courage because although it looks kind of deepish in the palette, I didn't know if it was going to show up on my skin tone. This is Courage, the bronze shade. Not bad, I think we could work with that. Joy the blush shade, gratitude, and kindness. All of which we need now very much in this beauty community. Here are the face powders and I did try gratitude. Gratitude is a beautiful shade. On me alone, it will turn up silvery and what I found 
it's most helpful in creating that extra bling factor and I usually layer it on another highlighting shade and that's what I'll demo for you today so you can see that how that works out now let's go into the eyeshadows honesty passion peace faith hope and love here are the six eyeshadows from her need palette she covered all the bases for a very simple eye look you have your warm transition shade here but you also have a pink shade if you wanted to spice it up on um, passion has some glitter in it but it has it's a deep plum shade which i think is a nice change from a simple black shade and you have hope which is your brown love is your beige matte shade and peace has a little more warmth to it zoom you in just a tiny bit so we can see these face powders today i have the makeup forever matte velvet skin in y425 Mixed in with the Hourglass Vanish Stick in Amber. I applied my Born This Way concealer in sand under the eyes. Set with the new Milk Makeup Translucent Powder under eyes. And use the medium shade all over for the rest of my face. Alright, let's take a look at Courage. I'm going to take my Morphe M527. I'm going to dip in there. Let's see what this does. Oh yeah, that put on some color. That's pretty. So I tried this the other day, but I tried it on another bronzer. And I think because this is not, it's definitely not as deep as my other bronzers I have in my collection. But if I apply it first thing, then I feel it's going to turn out very well. This side always comes, turns out better than this side. I never know why. I gotta drop it lower. I don't know why. My forehead. And definitely if you want more color, to be deposited I would use a smaller denser brush instead of a fluffy one like this I want to see what kindness can do and I think I'll use that as like to clean up the bottom of my bronzer I'm taking a small beige cosmetics brush this is from the it's my Ray Ray collab and I just want to tap it under there so it could give a little bit more structure well, that works out pretty nicely. Why not? Just pop it under the eyes, too. All right, kids. Bronzer's looking good. I put a little too much. Just going to buff that out with a big, fluffy brush. This is my Luxie 520, one of my favorite face brushes. We're looking good. I really love the shade of the bronzer. It's not too cool, not too warm. I think it hits right in the center of that spectrum. Looks pretty good. Let's get into gratitude. I'm going to use my Sigma uh, F25. This is from their Nightlife uh, set. This was sent to me, and although I have purchased Sigma brushes in the past, I never tried this one. I was always intrigued because Jackie Anna loves this brush and I don't blame her. It's a good highlighting brush. We're going to take Gratitude and I just want to show how it looks on its own. And it's a beautiful shade. The thing is, even though it's a little light on me, I just love how it creates that beam glow from within effect right away. It's a very soft highlight. And it's easy to work with. Like, it instantly melted into my skin. And it does give me a beautiful highlighting effect. I do have my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt on standby. So what I do is I'm going to do what I usually apply on this side. And I'll show you how I'll apply gratitude. So this is the Mean Money Hustle Baby on its own. And what I'll usually do with the same brush... I'll take gratitude and just pop it right on the center of Mean Money and Hustle Baby. And it adds a really nice extra layer of bling. And because this powder is actually very soft, it layers well. And I think if you would take it upon yourself to use your favorite highlighter shade that's warmer if you're my tan skin spectrum or deeper, that you just apply your favorite golden peachy highlighter champagne -y color and then, whoa, and then combine gratitude on top. 
but I just went crazy. So whoopsie, so much highlight. I appreciate how this isn't crazy blingy because depending on the eye look and the overall makeup look you're trying to achieve, sometimes you don't want to go crazy, crazy blingy blingy because it's a lot sometimes and it's good to know you have the option to build up to it, but you don't have to deal with the max at the start. Buff that out a little bit so it doesn't look nuts. But I think it's a really great highlighting shade. It highlights my cheekbones well, it gives me some light, it doesn't look nuts, glow from a thin effect instantly. Now for the blush, we're going in with Joy, which I've actually used already and I think it's a beautiful warm coral shade. It's it's like a true blush blush shade. This is my Smashbox Buildable Cheek Brush. You know, slap that on. I think that's very pretty. It's nice. I like this blush shade a lot. Very buildable, lightweight, easy to blend. And it definitely, I feel, gives a natural blushed look without crazy color. Just put it here on top a little bit. Fantastic! How do you like the face makeup, friends? I think this works out very well for my skin tone. Deeper than me, I think you're going to run into problems. Unfortunately, Courage is not deep, deep, deep. And because I applied it on its own without any of my other bronzers, it did show up. And Gratitude as well. Gratitude is not a warm highlighter shade. And that will probably be my only critique about the palette, that it is limiting in terms of the skin tones that will be able to use it. I would say if you're interested in buying any of her products that will go into her eyeshadow palette, which is like huge. But if you really want to use the, the face palette with the eyeshadows, I'm not sure if you're able to get any color if you are deeper than me. Let me know down below if you are and you managed to pick it up and tried it. But maybe Emily Noel will make another palette for the deeper sisters and brothers. All right, before I go in with the eye makeup, I'm going to spritz. Ooh, make sure all that pressed in before I zoom you in any closer. Let's go over the eye palette and this is the Watts. She created a freaking 24 pan eyeshadow palette. I believe these are all custom shades. So the knees were already existing shades from other face and eyeshadow palettes. This, these I should say, are all custom shades for her palette. Oh, okay, so I just realized that I did not mention the price, so I went on to Ulta, which is, it is currently being sold. The Nice is $15, and it is currently sold out. Go Emily Noel, yes. The Wants is $20, and it is also currently sold out. The minute I saw her video, I went on to Ulta, and I bought this right away. I am so happy for her right now that these sold out, of course, because I think she needs all the support of the world, like, like, we need to buy her palettes, friends. We need to buy her palettes. We need to share about them. Go, Emily Noel. Also made in China, still cruelty-free, and this has a 12-month expiration shelf life. Each pan is 0 0.03 ounces or 0.85 grams of product. I've already used it, so you're gonna see some stuff, you know, dirty pans. But here it is. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this. Big mirror, oh my god, so good. I think it is very helpful to have this huge mirror. I mean, I could set this up and just be like, mm -hmm. but let's get into these shades, yeah? So I'm gonna swatch row by row by row. Huh? We have cream, hobby, prayer, grateful, good vibes, and side hustle. Each shadow tells a story about Emily Noel, which is really great. She explains it all in her uh, announcement video. I think it's cool when you know about the backstory about each shade. It provides a really nice perspective to the project. Midwest, dues paid, Eve Rose, one of her babies, Elle Violet, her other baby, Capricorn, Pi Fi. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if that's correct. Row number two. I used this two days ago and I was very happy 
with my eye look, how easy it was to create in terms of the blendability, longevity was great too, they lasted long, so no wonder sold out because it's good. And $20 for 24 shades, I mean, that's not bad, it's a good deal. We got Oh Heavens, Love Tons, Pizzazz, Family, Top Story, and Apartment. We got Cupcake, Laugh Cry, Cheer, Heartbeat, Corduroy, and Dark and Early. Dark and Early references the fact that she does her makeup videos like 5.36 a.m. every day. And another reason why I find her so motivating is because she's a mother of two. She's a stay-at-home mom, which is a huge job and she manages to still find the time to film her content and edit and uploads frequently and she wakes up five in the morning because that's the only time that she's able to film her videos and every time i think about my own life and say oh i don't have any time well emily noel makes the time what are you doing and that's why i try to wake up early as well if the morning is the only time i'm able to film or even just to edit then I gotta get my butt up. I always think of her, I always think of her and say, listen, she's doing it because she wants to do this, so you should get on it. Her eyeshadow palette is basically her life story. I think it's so, it's just, I can't even find the words. It's like you have a piece of her with you all the time now. Every shade you use, the name references again a part of her life that has brought her to this moment, to this collaboration, to the inspiration behind uh, the shades in here, like dark and early refers to the early morning. It's very heartfelt and great to use a palette that's not surrounded by drama or scandal. I mean, hard to come by nowadays in the beauty community, but this is like such a feel-good collaboration. It's a feel-good palette. I'm happy for her. She's doing her thing. And yeah, man, let's get into this eye look. Which means you know what time it is. Okay, I'm gonna recreate the look that I really love and I think you guys will too. First, I'm gonna prep these eyes with my P. Louise. I believe these are, I, I think this should be this color anyway. Uh, rumor three should still be in stock. I could carve out my brows, but I'm being very lazy right now. I have to start thinking about buying another one, you guys. Like, I've been using this non-stop and I love it. Love it. I felt like I was having a pretty good eyebrow day and didn't feel the need to carve. Although carving is always great because it, it definitely seals the deal in terms of a neat eye look. But other than that. All right, let's first go into prayer. I think this is probably one of my most favorite matte transition shades in the palette because it's not your typical tan orange brown. It's more like a mauve, but a warm mauve. It doesn't show up gray and dusty on the lids. Going in with my Wayne Goss number three in with prayer. Start getting that on my crease. Blow this eye look out quite a lot so that's why I'm starting pretty high with it but already like I think that looks great it's fairly easy to blend there is some kickback but it's not a ton I find that it is reasonable I've dealt with worse it's not all over it's not making a mess it's normal I freaking love this color it's so easy to use very effortless but I think it just sets up for a nice alternative smoky eye if you don't want to use brown, black, like the typical neutral shades that are required for a daily smoky eye. I think Prayer is the perfect color for a plum eye. Because you have like more reds and magentas in here, you can definitely go a different route. But again, it's just a really nice setup. Still have Midwest, which I think is a beautiful neutral transition shade if you want to go that route. And I'm happy she provided different options for that reason. 
and she makes sure that like the mats the ones that are like green and purple show up green and purple and don't just blend away into nothing and look muddy i mean look at it it's just excellent i think this is a, a great mat now i really build prayer up so i'm putting a lot as i want this i love to have lots of depth so i'm still using the same brush and i'm just going back and forth between the two eyes and just building up the saturation and when i don't have any product on the brush i'm picking it up high and just feathering out the edges all right all right all right now i want to go in with my smaller wing brush where's my number four? Oh, do i want to do that i don't you know what I'm going to I'm going to do a little switcheroo on you. The other day I layered on Dews Paid because I just wanted a little more depth, but I think I want to go with this shade and I want to see what that does. So I'm I'm changing gears. Sorry friends. I'll put the eye look that I did with my original plan and I freaking loved it. I think it's such a great daily, excuse me. I think it's such a great daily smoky look that's smoky but still soft now i go in with this purple shade i want to see what this is doing oh yeah oh yeah now what i appreciate is that these shades are buildable but they're so they blend so easily like i'm not having any problems i would suggest if you want a little more that you will go in with the flat shader so let's do that to see if we could get a little more this is my, Zo she is so dirty. My Zoeva 234. I'm just gonna pack on a little more color. Liking it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. I'm actually really blown away with how well, and I've already used this, and I continue to be blown away by how well these shadows are blending. And I, I knew Emily Noel was not going to fail us. I mean, her reviews are immaculate. The way she delivers information, again, I aspire to... I know I'm going to have my own voice, for sure, but I just admire how articulate she is and how she can use different words to explain how well an eyeshadow performs. That she's not using literally, honestly, obsessed, oh my god, so pigmented over and over again. Like, we know. And it's just great to listen to someone who knows how to speak well. And I feel it makes the video flow, it makes it interesting. And like, I just love intelligent people. And I'm also not saying that you can't make it fun and make jokes because you, you see my videos. But I also think there's a fine line of responsibility as someone who is doing reviews that, yeah, it's, I think it's important to speak well and to have a, a wide vocabulary and delivering information well and helping whoever is watching decide whether they should buy something or not. Very helpful to describe it in different ways, like different aspects of it, the texture, the performance, the, the longevity, the staying power. There's so many things you could talk about and I feel a lot of uh, YouTubers just get stuck on like one thing and they only use like certain words over and over again. It's like, come on, man. Join a book club or something. Ooh, how are we liking this? This is getting nice. Ooh, I'm like really, I'm, I'm loving how this is looking, but I feel like I want to go, I'm going to go in, hello? <laughs> I'm going to go in with Midwest. This is my Sigma E40. I just kind of want to run over the edges. This really smoky. Oh, that's great. What a great idea that was. This is looking really great, friends. These matte shades are bomb. I'm not seeing any fallout whatsoever. I'm just taking my time in buffing out these edges to make sure they look smooth. I think I want to do Laugh Cry and Love Tons. I'm partial because I... It sounds like I'm picking up from a random place. I thought all this time I was not recording and I was repeating what I just said and expanding on the fact on how I love Emily Noel's way of speaking. And I teach exercise and on a daily basis, I am 
constantly working on how to deliver information effectively but efficiently not babble and get the info out so my students know what to do with the exercise and they could understand it I have a particular special appreciation for individuals who speak intelligently just use their words well have an outstanding vocabulary and that's why I try to read and practice even just saying things and be on the lookout for other words I could use other ways I could explain things and that's what Emily Noel does man and again I know that is due to her work um, in news and I feel contributes greatly to why she is so successful in her videos and and in her speaking But listen, that's something we can all try to achieve especially if we're in anything like this that communicating is Key and I feel that a lot of people don't do well now because of the social media age and how everyone's behind a screen and on a keyboard and to speak is definitely a lost art and something I find a lot of youtubers don't realize that's that's vital in their success or maybe not I mean there are a lot of I feel uh, very successful youtubers that you know they're doing okay but they're not Emily Noel in terms of the information delivery I mean like come on and this did not take me long to blend they blend well I take a long time to blend because I'm a perfectionist and I just insist on spending time I'm a blend do you want to take a another fluffy brush do I want let me see here where did it go taking my Sigma again but with cream the matte shade in here and I'm just cleaning up on the inside here so it looks a little smoother how you like the lower lash line i think that was a great idea and these shades together look bomb like you got a little bit of that peach and coral and that magenta going on i think it's nice i'm actually gonna blow it out even more so i'm taking where she go i'm gonna take my morphe m514 with laugh cry that peachy shade and I'm just really dragging it low Drag it low, low, low. all right friends let's talk about what we're gonna put on this lid I used top store the other day it's a gorgeous like gold bronze shade but I feel like we should use maybe pizzazz like something purpley I feel like I want to use or we could do good vibes what do you want to do let's do good vibes let's do a little combination I'm gonna take my and by the way I did wash my brushes and they got dirty so fast again. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take my Wayne Gloss number seven in with Good Vibes. I'm going to take that center of my lid. Oh, that's nice. Very easily. Shine is good. I am going to go back in with my Fix Plus. Or we could see if we can get a more metallic finish Ooh, I put a lot oh yeah that didn't done it wow that's really pretty Woo! I'm gonna take my Zoeva shader with love tons no I'm gonna take Hyphy and just hit the inner third so that could be a better transition between matte and metallic I do want to take pizzazz. I'm just interested in using that with my finger though, but I'm just hitting it right on the lash line. And I think it gave it like a nice purple shift. So good to know that you can layer these shades and kind of transform them into being a different color, but it's not going to look chunky or crazy. Oh, that was a good idea. For my lower lash line, I usually like to pop like a nice metallic shade on the center. And with that, I definitely now go in with Top Story. In with my Wayne Goss number 5. I'm going to dip into that shadow. Definitely hit it with some bleh. And just hit it right there in the center. Oh my god, this mirror is bomb. So big. I see everything. Now, I think I want to go in with Cupcake, which is this really nice 
light pink shade for my inner corner. Not pretty. Still just blending out the edges because I'm incredibly picky. I just want to make sure everything looks seamless and nice. Lashes curled. All right, finished with the mascara. Applied my Ardency in natural lip color pencil in Essex. Got me a little warm lip. And this is the finished look. What do you think? We use the knees, we use the wands, and I highly recommend both. I could understand why they're sold out. Yes, because people love her, but I think these palettes actually perform incredibly well. I know the face palette powders are very limited in terms of the shade range. You only have one bronzer, one blush, and one highlighting shade and also one matte shade. I think it works well for tan skin tones if you are, I'm currently again wearing the Makeup Forever Y425 in the matte skin. I am also have uh, Hourglass Vanish Stick in Amber, so that's kind of giving you an idea of whether these blushes and bronzers will show up on your skin tone. I think the wants is an incredible eyeshadow palette. Let me just guarantee you that the matte shades that I've used thus far, Midwest, Deuce Paid, Prayer, Pyfe, Apartment, Laugh Cry, Love Tons, Cheer. They're great. They blend effortlessly, easily. You're not gonna run into problems. You can use any brush, and it's just a joy to use. Like, it's great to use eyeshadow that's easy, so that works. And the fact that I created this really nice, warm purple look with a little bit of coral, a little bit of red, I think it turned out great. Definitely one of my favorite color stories to do. And I think it's still very versatile. If you wanted to go very basic daily you can go in with apartment and midwest or maybe you just go in for a hobby for like a very low-key taupe smoke if you wanted to jazz it up you can use bell violet e rose pizzazz is a really nice color that's where we put a little bit on top of good vibes today on the lid and also you have these really beautiful green shades that you could change it up with pair it with corduroy i think that'll be a beautiful green eye look and i think it's just a really beautiful range of colors that again take you from basic fun professional burning man whatever you want to do if she ever sees this video i just want to say emily noel congratulations i am beyond the moon happy for you i watch your videos i love you and i just love the way you speak and the way you do your reviews so just very professional and very helpful and always inspiring for me to be a better youtuber let me know if you guys picked up any of the palettes i know they are currently sold out uh, i'm i think they are on the website the actual makeup revolution website as well if not i will correct that beside me or confirm that claim i will definitely come back on here and do another look using the six eyeshadows here in this palette i'm incredibly happy that i bought these i am beyond happy that i'm able to support her and i just hope that there will be more collaborations and opportunities for her to come and i am there for them and that my friends is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another review, chit chat, get ready with me demo or tutorial. Take care and I'll see you again soon.